Hello, this is Dr. Lewis. I'd like to show you around Flipgrid so that you are familiar with how to make a video and how to upload text in response to our discussion prompts that we will be having throughout the course. You can see that I've gone to Blackboard and I am at the spot where a discussion prompt has been opened. This just happens to be the discussion prompt for the introduction. In your case, you would be using the discussion prompt for your actual assignment or work. And here you always will have an option to record a response. So you will see text that explains what you have to do and then you can record a response. You need to press the recorder response and it's going to open up the video on your computer. And then you will see yourself and you have a few options. For example, you can go here and you can mirror yourself. You can mute. Um, you can also upload a clip or you can actually um, show your own screen. In this case, I want to show you another option that's available. So we're going to close this for now. Um, when I go into this particular embedded part of the Flipgrid, it also sometimes doesn't show the entire screen. So if that happens to you on your computer, you can use the code that's up here and actually go to Flipgrid on the internet and put this code in and I'm going to do that now and I'm going to show you how to record the video from that point of view. So I've written down this code and now I'm going to Flipgrid and when I get to Flipgrid it gives me a screen that looks like this. I just typed in Flipgrid. Um, it has a join code and I can enter my join code and when I enter that and I say go it's going to take me to the same thing that you saw on the Blackboard response. So here I can record a response either here or here. So there's a couple of places. When I record my response, um, it asks me to join either with a Google account or a Microsoft account. So I'm going to join with Google. Now it's loading the camera video. And again, I have those same options I just showed you. The most important thing about your discussion prompt is that we want to make sure that you are um, responding to the question, but also uploading a text that explains in detail why your group made the conclusions that it did. So you can choose a person from your group to actually load this video and do the video and then whatever you've wor worked on together in your group that's written will also be included and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, here we are. Now thank you very much for your discussion prompt Dr. Lewis. We took a look at this issue using the IBA principles and when we went through the principles we decided that principle 2.1 was really what was in play here because if we were to do as our client asked we would be violating that principle and we're explaining it more in detail in a document that we are going to also upload with this video so thank you very much i've pressed again um this uh pause and now the video has paused it's no longer recording me and i'm going to press next but please notice that if you want to redo it you just press redo and it starts over again so i'm going to go to next and when i come to next it's going to give me a chance to video to edit and i'm going to turn up my sound you can see that it's playing I don't want to edit, so I'm just going to say next. And I can submit my video and I can put a link in and a title. I'm going to put a title in because I want to show what my group number is. Group 1. And that way uh, we've identified ourselves. And now the most important thing is I want to actually give a link um, to our answer. 
So we've made our answer in a Google Doc. Here's our Google Doc. And when we make our answer in the Google Doc, we now want to share this doc. We're going to say share. And then we're going to get a link. So we copy our link here. We go back into Flipgrid and we paste the link in. And now we're going to submit, but we also can take a selfie. We can select a frame from there. We can upload a photo. We can add a name tag. So I'm going to select, I'm going to take my selfie. Ha, it looks a little strange, but that's fine. Uh, it's creating my selfie. And that's what we can use. I'm going to add a name tag. And then I'm going to make sure the name is what I want it to be. Group one discussion prompt two. And I'm going to submit. It says that it's complete. And now if we go back, we should be able to see that our video has been added. So here it is. It's been added to this um, group of videos. And that means that it's now visible to other people to see. So I've now shown you all the steps that you need to be able to um, record and submit. Let's take a look at what it looks like. So here I am. Now, thank you very much for your discussion prompt, Dr. Lewis. We took a and down here is the, the view I link. So I want to see that link because that's where that I'm going to look at people's work. So for example, if I if other people come and they have to comment on my video, they're going to need to look at my work. So we say view link, view link and it's opening up to our response. So everything that we wanted to achieve has been achieved when we did this. And we have therefore successfully answered um, our first prompt. I hope to see all of you soon and to read your prompts throughout the course.